In terms of all the market volatility we've seen this year, again, this uncertainty around China and, and slowing global growth, IPOs that are in the pipeline. And we had comments out of Uber uh, via the Wall Street Journal overnight. But what do you expect in terms of some of these mega unicorn names going public this year? Do you think that those remain on track? Yes, I think they're going to remain on track, and I don't think that's going to be affected in, in any significant way by what we're hearing uh, on, you know, sort of the trade front. I think in terms of the unicorns, you know, we've had folks that have just chosen um, a very aggressive strategy to stay private as long as possible, and why not? Uh, they were able to raise money at uh, terrific rates and, and, more importantly, terrific terms in the private market. But for these companies now, it's, it's you know, sort of time to shine. It's time to get onto the public markets and really step it up to a whole nother level in terms of where they're going to go. Um, the difference between these companies and, say, the type of companies we would have seen 20, 25 years ago is that they're already very mature companies with billions of dollars in revenue, large organizations around the world. Um, so we're entering kind of a new phase here of, of kind of the, the, you know, the, 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 the mega uh, unicorns going out um, after achieving a, a, a tremendous amount of scale compared to most other startups. Hey, Mark, uh, a bunch of names in your universe are names that are at the top of uh, others uh, for 2019. Facebook, we know about Netflix's performance so far this year. You got Twitter uh, and Google on there as well. I mean, uh, how do you prioritize those names and how do you think they fit in, a, in an early part of the year where the semis and the semi cycle is still get so much attention? Yeah, that's a good question. I would say, you know, among the really large cap names uh, for the ad based companies like uh, Alphabet, for Facebook, a lot of the, you know, cleaning up the platforms, you know, Twitter, Snap, same thing, cleaning up their platforms uh, and regulation are really going to be kind of at the forefront, I think, to start the year. For companies like a Netflix, um, you know, obviously the user growth continues to be really robust. Uh, I think the focus is going to be mostly on pricing because I think what we've seen in the domestic market, at least, is them uh, raising prices pretty consistently. And I think, you know, where the growth is coming from in the international markets, I think there's a more price conscious consumer. Uh, so for that group, I would say, you know, it's a pretty mixed bag between ad-based uh, businesses and subscription businesses. But um, where do they fit in the broader, you know, tech landscape? I would say, you know, I'll go back to they don't have any China exposure whatsoever. So, you know, probably not a bad place to hang out if you think the fundamentals are, are you know, in, in good shape.